know what we can do? Hello. We can make a YouTube intro. Sherlock has reminded us for the VOD videos, we absolutely should. We got our frog on, lord. What's up, YouTube VOD community? We're playing a little bit of Death by AI. And if you, Ricky, doing a canned intro that we're gonna use for every single VOD intro so I never have to do it again. Anyway, we're playing Death by AI. Hope you guys are having fun. If not, uh, go to the- Um, uh, give me a word. Any word. Banana. Um, I like banana, yeah. Um, I was gonna say something similar to that. I'm now ready. Chopsticks. You say toxic? Chopsticks. Oh, chopsticks. Chopsticks. Mm. Cucumber. Banana chopsticks. Banana nut duck bread. Get that nut bread. I mean, if what? I was a, if I was a duck, I would only eat bread. Bread. I love bread. How about that bread of life? All right. Godspeed. Alrighty. I don't know how to play this game, by the way. This should be great. Don't, yeah. don't oh explain to me God. either, because it's going to be funny. <laughs> what a Back great Street Boys are in sync. To uh, in sync, right? You're going to love Thir it, Kaiser. Okay. What was the... 13 similar I banana have decided you need are sentenced to death by banana nut chopstick bread. You are a duck. duck. Okay. And provides me a reasonable amount of bread. I enjoy my bread. I quack safely into 13 similar banana have decided you need our sentence to death by banana <laughs> nut chopstick bye, 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 bread you are a duck oh no bread you are our odd similar banana have decided you need our sentence to death by banana nut chops <laughs> see is it to... is it all broken or no do we know we'll fight i appreciate the essay you're writing here why, thank you. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a good essay. It's a good essay. <laughs> we love a novel. No, I ran out of characters. It's our judgment. Darn it. Good essay, Tendon. It is time. All right, Howling Moon Crab, what you got? I gaze upon a beautiful pond. An old man is there and provides me a reasonable amount of bread. Enjoy my bread. I quack safely into the dye. Oops. <laughs> into the dye. Watch that kill you. You just go crazy. That's how you ha do it. As Howling Mooncrag gazes upon the beautiful pond, they are approached by an old man who kindly offers them a reasonable amount of bread. Savoring each bite, Howling Mooncrag quacks contently and safely returns to the safety of the pond. Oh no, however, unbeknownst to them, the bread is infused with a deadly poison, specifically designed to exterminate ducks, and within moments, Howling Mooncrack collapses, succumbing to their fatal fate. Yikes! Ooh, like that old guy. <laughs> Death by AI's wild card is always just poison. Good lord, it's Ocean. True. No, it's Tira's no. mom girl. all over again. It is Tira's mom. <laughs> Uh, Googly tries to convince the Council of Banana to spare me by promoting my t-shirt making company. We're learning a lot. We're learning a lot, chat. cool matching shirts, and they love them. Meowdy, don't forget your Meowdies. You get one Meowdy per stream. Congrats on spending Googly, points, the Googly, the clever duck, uses their entrepreneurial uh -oh. skills to appeal to the Council of Bananas. Ooh. With a convincing pitch, Googly offers to create stylish matching oh, t-shirts for no. all 13 bananas. The council, impressed by the idea and craving oh, a sense of unity, spares Googly's uh, life, granting them uh, a chance to bring your t-shirt making company to life. Uh, <laughs> I survived. Wow. Uh, w. Huge. <laughs> oh, do I have to read it? Yeah. If you yes. want. I can, yeah. right. can read for you if you want. I am a duck, and bananas cannot fly, nor can banana nut chopstick bread fly, so I fly away. I soar. I spread my wings. I cannot be contained. Mm. Beautiful. That's nice. That's pretty good. Oh my god. Oh, oh my golly. Oh my wow. Ducks. Raiders! I thought we were already ducks too. <laughs> <laughs> good luck consuming. Good luck consuming. Hi Raiders, hi! Chopstick bread proves unsuccessful it's me, Howling Mooncrab, a variety streamer extraordinaire? Perhaps we have a frog behind us. We're playing a little sentence. game called Help Death them. by AI. It's kind of a Jackbox style thing. Uh, let's see if the shout out is on deck or not. It might be on cooldown. Thank you for the raid. 37 seconds. All right, we're going to do this one and then we're going to do the regular one in about 37 seconds. 
Um, basically, we create prompts a la Jackbox style, uh, and then a robot decides whether or not we live or die. It's pretty incredible. I very much like it. If you guys aren't following the Texas, the Sophie, the Sofreties, you need to be. Put that shout out momentarily. Nice to meet you all. Banana nut chopstick bread. Good we'll find hey, the puppy. intelligent duck flapped their wings and vigorously and let out Star a resounding quack for innocence. Innocent. They presented a visionary plan game. to create a harmonious society game. where bananas and ducks are were considered equal. Were. Surprising the 13, 13 similar banana were moved There's by that his fall, way. You know, we'll find their freedom to fly away unscathed. I'm not the only we'll soccer team angry cute. Uh-oh. How come you're a real duck? What do we do? What do we do, I Captain Pan? Pan 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 no, you're so for tease. You're so for tease. Socrates. Bun 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 Two tries to. I use my immunity bana confused. two bananas <laughs> and turn the bananas into banana nut bread and I eat it. Good I Lord. share the bread with Sorry, all of I my can. friends. I apologize. The Arbeed. Arbeed. Bread. 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 Bun Bun Bun, utilizing their immunity bananas, cleverly transformed the 13 banana executioner Who into conscious banana nut bread. I, I support it. They generously distribute the bread among their friends, fostering an atmosphere of joy and harmony. Oh. 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 <laughs> Unfortunately, little did Bun Bun know that banana nut bread was laced with toxic elements, leading to the untimely demise of both the 13 banana executioners and their friends. Well, so, no. I guess oh, everything's no. poison today. A lot of poison. Of There's a lot, yeah. Uh, Moxie tries to use her duck instincts to ninja her way out Good of the death Lord. by using the banana nuts allergy, the bananas nut allergy against them. Yeah. This has to work. Right? Moxie tapping into their duck instincts quickly hatches a plan to utilize the bananas nut allergy to their advantage. With stealth and precision, they masterfully, sn masterfully sneak past the 13 bananas and locate a nearby jar of nut butter. Ah. Ah, Here, mom is the greatest the killer in this game. On their feathers, it hatches a plan. The bananas to become oh, disoriented and incapacitated. In the midst of the chaos, Moxie escapes unscathed, cleverly outwitting their done. fruit Beautifully adversaries. Hey. That's incredible! Nice. That's incredible! All about that nut butter, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nut butter. <laughs> I think, uh, honestly, I think it's really cool when people die. Like. I think if you don't die, it's kind of it's kind of cringe. Yeah, it's kind of cringe. Yeah, 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 a little bit cringe. The audacity. Audacity. Any words? Any words you want for this? Audacity. Uh, cast. <laughs> um. And oh, and I mean odd ass city. Hey, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Girl Scout cookies. Oh. Penguin. Oh, do we need more words? Oh, no, we're... I mean, if you want, I've got eight characters left. <laughs> you let me know. No. It's just like, people kept spit, like spitting them out. I'm like, how many do we need? Holy... It just, just makes it more uh, more engaging, you know? I have to deal with these knuckleheads. Right. Audacity, 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 help, yeah. help, help, I am scared. <laughs> audacity, <laughs> help, <laughs> help, help, I am scared. Audacity, they are delighted that I have found a penguin. I realized it is a pinata and with the PRA <laughs> we'll just see what happens we celebrate let's see I call the local penguin there delighted I found a penguin there realized it's pinata pinata full of yeah. Non-toxic. Full of non-toxic. Oh no. Clicky, clicky, <laughs> clicky, 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 clicky. All right, cl it's fine. <laughs> I get so nervous. I get so nervous. <laughs> no, it didn't. This finish. is this is like the audio of it like speeding up. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> uh, uh, it's gonna come back to haunt me at the end. There, I, I had like an incomplete word at the end. <laughs> All right, right. Howling Mooncrab. I call the local penguin reclamation authority. Used a lot of characters on this, realizing maybe I shouldn't have used it. They're delighted that I have found a penguin. I realize that it's a pinata full of non-toxic. I hope that works. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love non-toxic. Mm-hmm. So I call the PRA and excitedly report that they have found that they have found a penguin. Oh, me. 
However, to their dismay, they eventually realize that the penguin is actually a pinata filled with non-toxic materials. As they eagerly approach the pinata, they're suddenly ambushed by an aggressive swarm <laughs> of bees, and I die? I love how just bees showed Where, up out of nowhere. Where'd the bees come from? You thought... <laughs> oh my god. Christ. I didn't finish mine. Just, just leave it up to the, oh. the AI. Uh -huh. Google it! Google tries to put on a performance to promote my cookies. The audacity cancel up the cookies and sales go crazy. <laughs> Cross. And then finish the rest. Googly, with Audacity, showcases a stunning performance to promote their Girl Scout cookies to the Audacity cats during their show in Audacity. The irresistibly delicious cookies capture the hearts of the feline performers and the audience alike, leading to a, fr a frenzy of cookie sales. The success of Googly's performance not only in ensures their survival, but also solidifies their reputation as a creative and savvy cookie salesperson. Oh my gosh, sure. Dang. W. Googly Sweep Part 2. All right. Uh, I go to watch Cats, the musical. I bring along my non-poison No, a, aggressive bee a shut up and killed me. Profit, I become Iron Man. Oh, good. Oh. You're good. Okay. okay. Oh, Iron Man. Tony. Cows decides to attend the Audacity Cats musical while bringing along non poison Girl Scout cookies to sell. However, upon arrival, they realize that the odd ass <laughs> city is strictly against selling cookies inside the theater. Unable to sell their cookies, Kaiser's plan to make a profit and become Iron Man crumbles. That's a type of cookie, leaving them without the means to achieve their goal. So I survived. Okay. Well, right. yeah. It let you I mean, live. Hey, you survived. Okay, yeah, you survived. It. We're just poor. Yeah. Oh, what's the point? You All made right. it through. <laughs> Might as well end it. Yeah. Slide it dressed in my <laughs> best penguin. By the way, how, is Discord too loud? By the way, let's try this game. Oh, I should just play the game. To spread the We've done it before. All the friends. Uh, but it said fry, so I'm sure it's gonna go perfectly for well. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Turn the music up. Wolfi dressed in their best okay. penguin tux. I think that's okay. Tends the Audacity Cats concert in Odd Ass City. Their hypnotic dance moves not only capture the audience but also create test. Um, test. Okay. Uh, I think it's a better better level now. Tranquility that permeates the entire venue. As a result, the I think you'd be good at it, game. Uh, memorable experience with everyone immersed in peaceful harmony. Wolfi survives. Aww. W. Dang. Big dubs. Very good. Very good. Well, hey, Bun Bun. All right, it's me, Bun Bun. I'm gonna try and create oh. a video. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize I, I was muted. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want me to finish bun, reading? Bun, bun. No, I got, I got it. I'm gonna make my video game. <laughs> bun, 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 bun tries to create a video game that is really just an advertisement for Girl Scout cookies. Everyone loves the games, and I sell all my cookies. Mm, and I would wish there. I had more characters, because I would have said I got to go to camp. <laughs> <gasps> Bun... Bun Bun Bun's idea to create a video game as an advertisement for Girl Scout cookies proves to be a brilliant move. Not only is the game well received by the public, but it also catches the attention of Audacity Cats. Who invite Bun 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 to showcase the game during their performance at Odd Ass City? Wow. The combination of the game's success and the exposure gained from performing with Audacity Cats leads to an overwhelming demand for Girl Scout cookies, allowing Bun 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 to sell all the cookies and achieve their goal. I survived. Huge. Yeah. yeah. No I didn't survive job. from being muted, but I survived from that. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Moxie tries to steal the penguin. They run away together, and all is good. Audacity cats perform a rock ballad for the ages that tops the Billboard 100. Oh, nice. Yeah. Moxie, determined to have a penguin companion, attempts to steal the penguin from, uh, from Audacity cats. Oh. oh. As they successfully run away together, the audacious duo becomes an unexpected sensation in the odd ass city, capturing the hearts of audiences with their unique bond. Meanwhile, Audacity Cats mesmerize the world with an electrifying rock ballad that not only tops the Billboard 100, but also solidifies their status as legendary performers. Moxie survived. Wow. Oh, right. Big W. A lot of us live that round. Yeah, yeah again, I think it's really cringe to live. Um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> just throwing that Imagine out there. living.
Imagine. Couldn't imagine. Couldn't imagine. imagine. Okay, one second. I have a brilliant idea. The likes. Mm. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see if we have any fans. What's up, Mushra? Wow. Oh, okay. Did you really just go switch foot on us? I just went switch foot on you. Damn, that's deep. John Bellion does a cover of it that is so good. It came out this last, like, last couple of months. I love John Bellion, by the way. Um, you should absolutely listen to that. Hey, don't be nervous, but the song is getting really quick and funny. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. Or you're not. The panic. Know. The panic typing at the end. Mm. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Uh, we want more than this world's got to offer. We want more than this world's got to offer. We want more than the wars of our father and ev- <laughs> Listen, Hallie and Mooncrab takes a bold step to reject the limitations of the world they find themselves in. Ooh, some lyrical analysis. This is okay. Fueled by a desire for something greater, they refuse to settle for the repetitive cycles of their ancestors. Ancestors, what? With determination, they voice their longing for a world that surpasses what their fathers experienced. However, their rebellion comes at a price as the authorities swiftly <laughs> capture and silence them, ending their quest for a better life. I was uh, so bad. Wow. I died. Wow. Yeah. I, hey, robot, it's just the rest of the lyrics, the song, it's fine. <laughs> the robot didn't want it. it took a turn. <laughs> Googly tries to refer to Shakespeare to enlighten and remember the whole world's a stage and I meant to perform. Oh, so true. My favorite Shakespeare quote. Googly's attempt to refer to Shakespeare and the famous quote, the whole world's a stage, brings them a surge of inspiration and renewed sense of purpose. Ooh. They embrace the idea of life as a performance, harnessing its power to navigate through the tricky situation. With determination and creativity, they will find they find innovative solutions surprising everyone around them. In the end, Googly's ability to channel Shakespeare's wisdom allows them not only to survive, but also become the shining star of their own Aww. story. No, that's wow. fine. I tried nice. to use so nice. it. It's cool. It's like whatever. <laughs> right. I'm not mad. Yeah, it's yeah, it's right, I guess. Kaiser tries to crawl inside the crevice. His new abode. Inside he is safe and warm, but not too warm. Warm like a grandmother's hug. My grandma's there too. <gasps> Aw. Mama. Grandma. Kaiser's decision to crawl inside the crevice proves to be a <laughs> fatal mistake. <laughs> Also a great start. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to them. The crevice gradually narrows, trapping Kaiser in its confines. As time passes, their supplies run out, leaving them with no means of sustenance. Despite the initial warmth and comfort, their ultimate demise is inevitable. Wow. It what about Grandma? Thing. What, did Grandma the survive? Whole thing. I don't know. <laughs> no, I met your Grandma. I don't know. I probably ate Grandma. <laughs> Do you guys, grandma you guys ever read the supplies? story about the guy that happened to where he got stuck like face down or head down? Is literally is literally oh, like less than an hour away from me. Ugh. Yeah. Wow. The nutty putty cave. Mm -hmm. Gross. Ooh. Anyway, we'll fight. Um, uh, we'll fight. Tries to tries to DJ at the Switch Foot theme party. The beats are rocking as Wolf causes everyone to break out in choreographed dance. It was fun. They're gonna think it's a real wolf. It's gonna be massive. Uh, it's gonna be great. She actually right. That's probably true. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel with her passion for DJ and takes the stage at the Switchfoot theme party with an infectious, infectious energy. Within minutes, the beats they spin ignite a frenzy in the dance floor, captivating everyone with their choreographed moves. The atmosphere is electric, bringing people together in joy and unity. 
That's nice. Can we end it there? However, however, <laughs> <I am. laughs> as however. the night progresses, the party becomes an unforgettable experience, proving that music truly has the power to connect souls. Wolf Ice arrives. Let's go! Wow. Nice. Whatever. Oh, we did whatever. it. Woo. I'm impressed. Oh my god. Go. I was worried when you mentioned that wolf thing might come back to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Bun 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 tries to live inside. Delivery programs exist and I'm happy inside of my home with my cats and my friends who visit. Time to bake cookies. Smile. Oh, nice. <laughs> Everything is cookies. Bun's Bun decision to live inside their home surrounded by their cats and friends brings them a sense of joy and contentment. Oh. As they immerse themselves in baking cookies, they find solace in the comfort of the domestic life. However, ooh, by oscillating themselves <laughs> from the outside world they, <laughs> and neglecting to address the underlying questions of the scenario, they unknowingly miss out on the opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Ultimately, their choice remains confined in their comfort zone prevents them from truly finding themselves and exploring the potential that lies beyond their doorstep. You died? Oh no. Death? What? It was oh, like, if, if you like to stay That's inside, you deserve to die. Because you never live. To stay inside and bake cookies. Right, fair. <laughs> uh, Moxie tries to dig deep into her nostalgia from her high school days and tries to live for so much more and not lose herself in any mm. sort of way or sauce. Where's Moon Crab? <laughs> Bad. Mox's yes. attempt to dig deep into her nostalgia from high school days feels a renewed sense of purpose and determination uh, within her. Uh, beautiful. She beautiful. embraces the memories and experiences that shaped her, using them as a foundation to live a life that's more meaningful and authentic. Moxie's resilience and refusal to lose herself in any negative influence or external pressures allow her to thrive and find fulfillment. I survived. I honestly wow. thought that was going to end in a, however... <laughs> the cookies were poisoned. Exactly. Rounds in the sauce. Anyway, Kaiser yeah. Bun Bun, thank you. Good job this round. Um, everyone else, cringe, L, ratio. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're right, you're right. Big cringe, big cringe. I know, I know. <laughs> All right. worst. Any words, any words? Robbie Rotten? Words. Is that I-E or just with a Y? I have absolutely no idea. Probably I-E. Okay. I think it's I-E. Okay. okay. I feel like I should look up who this is before I get started on typing I'm not <laughs> sure, yeah. Maybe. Rob Zombie. Oh, I remember Bob's Robbie Gumby. Rotten. <laughs> Tell me that this this song Mediocre. doesn't have parts. It sounds like we are number one. Come on. <laughs> oh, this guy. Okay, okay. Is it safe to uh, Google? Yeah, oh. just make sure you turn on like your NSFW filter. Got it, uh, got it. Make sure it's not. <laughs> no, how would it be screen. not safe for work? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Rule 34, you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> hey, Kev, yes. is it possible for you to read for me? Because I've got the uh, three calls from my grandmother. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have these two right beside each other, but you said it out loud, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> I am so sorry, bunny, but... Probably can't talk anyway. Yo, hey, what's up, Waffle? Deadly scenario? Brutal... <laughs> yeah! True. True! What's going on? Uh, Wolf, I could read out, read this out loud for us. Uh, Robbie Rotten and Gregarious Gang engage in a battle of checkers with Rob Zombie. You are number one in the world. Rule thirty-four. You never know. Bun Bun Grandma. I live for sure this time, for sure. And a homework done to Yo, that's sick. I love that. Are you are you EU or uh, NA? A little late for a nap, but to each their own. To each their own. I took a big nap before this. Feeling energetic. Feeling energetic. Modern problems require modern. I guess I got to do with like a half a second, man. <laughs> <laughs> the best is when you use the characters exactly. I observe the checkers game deftly with the eyes of an eagle that sits upon the top of the world. I am number one. I offer solid advice after. Grand. Aw. 
grandma. Just grand. Ooh, as Howling Mooncrow observes the checkers game with the intensity of an eagle, they analyze every move made by Robbie, Rotten, and the gregarious gang, seeking the perfect opportunity to offer their expert advice. With their unparalleled skill and knowledge, they provide valuable guidance that shifts the tide of the game in their favor. Through strategic suggestions, Howling Moon Crab's contribution leads to a stunning victory over Rob Zombie. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just going to stop reading there. I got to live. I got to live. Wait, no, I'm cringe oh now. God. You joined the cringe. <laughs> You're rose. <laughs> Got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, got it. Nice, this is nice. Coach Rob Zombie yeah, we're trying to, to we're gonna try and use Brutal Company foes. tonight, um, but it, unfortunately it's been Bunny's messing up, so I don't know if it'll work or not. We'll find out. MST North America. You, and Squatchy, and Cortilli are the only people well, I know who live in the MST. In an unexpected turn coaching skills combined with the wisdom of Bunny's grandma proved to be instrumental in guiding Rob Zombie to victory in the intense game of checkers Ooh. against Robbie Rotten and the Gregarious Gang. Under Googly's guidance, Rob Zombie strategically outmaneuvers his opponents, seizing the upper hand and securing a surprising win. With their plan executed flawlessly, the enemies are left defeated in, and in awe of Rob Zombie's checkers prowess. Wow. I call that Dragula, you know what I'm saying? There's no way I don't win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah love them love them love them love them oh man uh, the vibes immaculate we are number one in a bizarre turn of events because attempt to influence the outcome of the battle through the repetition of we are number one seems to have perplexed not only the participants but also the very fabric of reality itself <laughs> oh well, <laughs> as the chant echoes through the air, the checkers board begins to warp and morph, creating a rift through which Rob Zombie and the gregarious gang are transported to an alternate dimension filled with peculiar and inexplicable creatures. Despite the chaos, yeah, you guys will find some See you a little escape. Have a good night. Either They're way, good, good sleep. Good sleep. By the sheer randomness of the phenomenon. Easy. Oh, wow. Too Dang. easy. Easy. Not cringe. Wow. Oh Alrighty. my gosh, chat! Ms. Mooncrab's finally we'll fired. She's finally gonna. Off an epic win. She's finally gonna take her we'll iron supplements. Chat! We sing it's a Christmas miracle. Rule thirty-four. Organizer. Bun Bun Grandma. Yeah, you guys want to see the first. organizer? <laughs> yeah, it is cute. Ooh. In the midst of a tense battle <laughs> trick nice between Robbie like... Rotten and Rob Zombie, we'll fight Cole Tyson. Yeah, that is cool. That is nice. Unexpected move. They start singing and dancing and attempting to distract Rob Zombie and create an opening for Robbie Rotten to secure an epic win. However, in their attempt to enlighten Robbie Rotten about Rule 34, Bun Bun Grandma disapproves and interrupts the performance. The distraction causes Robbie Rotten to miss a crucial move and ultimately lose the game. I do not survive. Wow. Oh, gosh. Oh, cock block. I, I got dis- Bun Bun and Grandma disapproved. It was it was too late. I should you never have said that. I think so, yeah. Oh. They're napping right now. Big sad. They come back up, though. All right. <laughs> it's me, Bun Bun. <laughs> I'm going to try and save my grandma from the NSW people. She is safe. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> In a chaotic battle of checkers between Robbie Rotten and the gregarious gang against the sinister Rob Zombie, I, Bun Bun Bun, courageously springs into action to protect my grandma from the NSW people. With unaware determination, I swiftly navigate through the chaos, skillfully evading the dangerous elements, and safely leading the grandma to a secure location. Thanks to my heroic efforts, both they and their grandma survived the perilous encounter, and then I decide to show my grandma NSW anyway, because I'm bun, 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 and I'm crazy like that. Roll Tide. Wow, Bunny, Roll that was incredible. Ram, Ram. Wow. <laughs> uh, Moxie tries to drop cake Rod Robbie Rotten in a certain dominance. Rob Zombie claps in approval. Rule 34, always. <laughs> I thought you were going to start talking in a country accent as well. <laughs> it's infectious. <laughs> uh, it really is. Moxie attempts to dropkick Robbie Rotten with all their might, hoping to assert dominance over the situation. However, Robbie Rotten swiftly dodges the kick, causing Moxie to lose their balance and stumble into Rob Zombie. Rob! In a bizarre turn of events, Rob Zombie's clap of approval turns into a sudden <laughs> grip on Moxie. <laughs> In a display of what? <laughs> In a display of what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I am screenshotting that so That is that is amazing. 
<laughs> yeah, I did that whole thing. Wow. What? Wow. <laughs> And we've all been there. Like a W to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I mean, You're somebody's right. drawn it somewhere, right? Uh. <laughs> I'm drawing it right now. There you go. Shit. That's my thumbnail. That's my oh. thumbnail. That's your thumbnail. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Woo. <laughs> Can the word be just kinky? Is that? <laughs> Yeah, could we put, like, bondage in there? Is that possible? <laughs> Just curious. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got, I got the- I got it right here. You got it? Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it turned into that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, okay, okay. Um. That sucks, Ryder. Screw that guy. Ban him. Ban him. <laughs> this is gonna go horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, screw <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh boy. All right. I host the free Moxie from jail subathon and raise the funds for bail. We bond Moxie out and leave Rob to think about what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, takes two to tango. <laughs> I successfully organized the FMFJS, I was not ready to say that, <laughs> attracting a large crowd of supporters who generously donate funds to secure Moxie's release. With the bail paid, Moxie is freed from jail and given a chance to reflect on the situation. <laughs> However, Rob, left behind as a consequence of their actions, is left to face the consequences of his kinky display, and I get to live for once. Hey, hey, Mooncrafts, Mooncrafts <laughs> community, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> We support you. <laughs> <laughs> Google tries to fight in court to release my friends Moxie and Robert Zomble. You Jail. might like them. They're both good We're musicians. The well, it's a bad. That sucks. I'm sorry you got court tried. As I am their attorney, and we all win. I believe. That's a big dub. Mm -hmm. Googly, with an unwavering determination, presents a compelling case in court, skillfully highlighting the innocence of Moxie and Robert Zombie. And, and effectively persuade. <laughs> <laughs> and effectively persuade the judge of the jury that the kinky display was doing? simply a misunderstanding. Oh, hoping he'd shut up. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. provide their eloquent. Uh, this is death by AI. By the way, the court of their it's so much fun. Resulting in the release of Moxie. <laughs> this might be a confusing one to come in on, though. To the relief and joy of everyone involved. Yay! I like the uh, I, Robert Zumble. I do not Robert think Zumble. I will be winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rob Zombie and Moxie deserve to be in jail for the display of Rule 34. I will not be posting bail. Shame. 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 They must learn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kaiser takes a firm stance against Rob Zombie and Moxie's behavior. Their refusal to post bail sends a strong message of disapproval to the community. However, this decision also puts them at odds with those who believe in second chances and rehabilitation. Ooh. The ensuing backlash creates a divide, and ultimately, Kaiser must face the consequences of their uncompromising judgment. Oh, sick. <laughs> so you died. Oh. The end. Yikes. Yep, just, just died. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, uh, Wolfi tries to sell more <laughs> artwork from their kinky display. The amount of people who want a copy is impressive. We get enough money to live happily. <laughs> Yay! 
And it gets well, a little bit of 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 a Ah oh, shit, however, oh. the authorities soon catch wind of these sales and trace them back to a legal bondage display. <laughs> <laughs> Leading to the arrest and imprisonment of all three individuals. Dude, you can't be arrested Despite again? Despite their initial success, their actions ultimately led to the downfall of, and they are unable to escape. Hell yeah, yeah Ryder, I love oh, that. Controversial I love hours. that. Wolf does not survive. <laughs> I, got you, I got you out, Moxie, it's just that we all have to go back in there, apparently. <laughs> We should have fly the country. We, 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 we made too should've... much money and we had to make more stuff, you know? Why demand? We bailed on the taxes, didn't Jesse. we? <laughs> Jesse, we have to bond. <laughs> Jesse, we have to do the bondage. <laughs> hey, you got a little Italian there, dude. Uh, Jesse, we have Jesse, to do the bond. Have to do the bondage. We have a cook of the meth. A cook of the meth. Jesse, we have a cook of the meth. I'll go get the rope ravioli, kid. Ravioli, what's in the methioli? Hey, yo. Am I still reading? I'm gonna read. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover your eyes. What is this? Where am I? Where's Rob Zombie? Where's Moxie? Where's Grandma? Bun Bun frantically searches for Rob Zombie, Moxie, and their grandma, but is unable to locate them amidst the chaos. Suddenly, a figure emerges from the shadows, revealing themselves to be an undercover police officer. Uh oh. With a stern face, they inform Bun Bun Bun, Rob Zombie, and Moxie that they have been arrested and taken into custody while Grandma's safe at home. Overwhelmed by the news, I <gasps> collapse, unable to comprehend the situation and die? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Skill issue. Breaking right, Super Mario bad. <laughs> <laughs> tries to let this one play out and see what her friends do. Let's be honest, Rob has, Rob has tried for years to get with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for him, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alex is wow. just stand back and observe the situation unfolds during Rob Zombie's attempt to pursue their romantic desires to result in a disastrous outcome. Oh. As tensions escalated and emotions ran high, Rob's persistent advances caused a furious uproar among their friends, leading to a violent confrontation. Oh my. In the chaos that ensued, their friend's anger overwhelmed them, ultimately, uh, ultimately resulting in Moxie's tragic demise. Ooh. Did not die. To be. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> Good job, Googly. Oh googly, googly, googly. Hey. Oh, zero hey. deaths, cringe. Zero deaths. Cringe. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Alright, everybody in? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Alright. Any words? Any uh, suggestions? I'm happy to incorporate anything. Pineapple? Oh, uh, no. Cowboy. Oh, Psyduck. Golduck. Is Golduck one, like, is it 1D or 2Ds? Oh. Uh, 1D. 1D. One Direction. Harry <laughs> 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 Kate is a soccer player. Alright. Beautiful prompt. Alright, let's go, let's go. Okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. My body's ready. I've been. Walk me one direction from there. I think it's frozen in the ice tray soccer. I'm going, uh, I'm gonna live every single time, just so you all know. Really turning on the thrusters here. <laughs> you 
You know it, Ryder. I, I, this, the creative yeah, mind, the, the creative of the mind. Last second. <laughs> cool. Instant death. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm happy. laughs> All right. I carefully call the ice hospital, dialing extra preciously and precisely, as I have read this One Direction fanfic many times. I succeed. <laughs> All right, as I carefully dial the ice hospital number with the utmost precision, their deep no my deep knowledge of One Direction fanfiction pays off. Oh, wow. <laughs> the ice hospital quickly dispatches a team to the soccer field to rescue Liam with from the frozen ice. With expert care, Liam is thawed out and brought back to consciousness just in time, and I live! W. Hey. Nice. Living is cool this time, by the way. Not cringe. Okay, okay, okay. Not cringe. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Googly tries to round up all them scams or pineapples to get out of my pond mm -hmm. and go back home. It's almost dinner time. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. As Googly attempts to round up the mischievous pineapples, they find themselves facing a great challenge. The pineapples being slippery and evasive prove <laughs> difficult to catch and redirect. Why are they slippery? Just... Yeah, how is a pineapple <laughs> slippery? It's their best effort. <laughs> Googly fails to remove the pineapples from Golduck's favorite pond, resulting in the water becoming excessively acidic due to the pineapple's actions. Unable to survive it's a touch with the dishes, Googly succumbs to its deadly impact. Oh. Pineapple's actions? What actions? The actions. The actions of pineappling. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> because he tries to get with Liam from One Direction. He's so dreamy. I would be so lucky to be with him. He's so hot <laughs> and rich and smart and talented and cool. Oh my. Uh, similar oh, approach yeah. to you and I. <laughs> some kind of fan I'm hoping. Oh. <laughs> oh no! I hate this game. This stupid <laughs> robot doesn't know what's up. Oh my gosh. Despite Kaiser's efforts, Liam from One Direction remains uninterested and focused on helping unfreeze the frozen pond. What a schmuck. As Kaiser persists in their pursuit, Liam becomes increasingly annoyed and asks for security to intervene, leading to Kaiser's removal from the area. The disappointed Kaiser survives in count, albeit with a bruise ego. I hate this game. I hate this game. The Is robot there said, any life worth oh, living so without Liam from One Direction? Why can't the robot said you have no game. Too. Oh my god. Uh, I try to get uh, Liam out of the frozen water with the help of Cowboy Golduck. One Direction farm songs and we eat tasty pineapple and thrive. Hmm. I spelled pineapple wrong, I realized, but, you It'll know, hey, things happen. Pineapple. 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 Jesse, we must cook a demand. Pineapple. 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 <laughs> In a surprising turn of events, Wolf Eye managed to successfully rescue Liam from the icy water with the unexpected assistance of Cowboy Golduck. As one wrestling performs their uplifting songs, everyone's spirits are lifted and they all enjoy a delicious meal of tasty pineapple. With their collective efforts, they not only thrive, but also manage to overcome the tricky situation unscathed. I survive. Yay. I did the thing, guys. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> surviving. Imagine. Yeah, it's kind of... Um, one Bun Bun crazy. tries to watch One Direction save their bandmate and stop the evil pineapple from cowboying around. Roll Tide! Roll Tide! Roll Tide! Roll tide. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna take time. Tree goes straight up and down. Bun Bun Bun, with determination in their eyes, rushes towards One Direction, urging them to save their frozen bandmate Liam from the icy grip. But they're a failing band, so they no, that's not how it went. <laughs> <laughs> As the evil pineapple continues to wreak havoc, the members of One Direction summon their inner strength that combine their skills to confront the mischievous fruit head on, managing to subdue it and free Liam from the ice. Are they power Working Rangers? together, they successfully saved their bandmate and put an end to the chaos in Gold Duck's favorite pond, allowing everybody to breathe a sigh of relief. I survived. Hey, it's Gold no, Duck's like, favorite pond. Bond, like bound together in like a big mech. Power Rangers. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Moxie tries to cut the pineapple to share with Gold Duck and Liam, but when Liam gets frozen in the ice, he misses out on the fun. Sigh, Doc. <laughs> Moxie takes out a sharp oh, knife no. and starts cutting the pineapple. Oh no! With with oh, no. Please, not Liam. Sharp knife. Not Liam. Please, sharp knife. Sharp. However, Please, not Liam. as Liam gets frozen in ice, he isn't able to join the fun and enjoy the delicious fruits. Stricken with grief, Moxie and Golduck manage to free Liam from the ice, but find out that it's too late and he has succumbed to the icy grip. Moxie did not survive. 
Wait, why did why did Moxie not survive? Wait, what? Hold on. He grieved from him dying to the icy grip. I was just He may as well be dead to me. Whoa! Take it easy, Moxie. Jeez. 